Hey guys, um, this is a video response um, to my first Hackintosh video that talks about um, what I had in my system. Today I, I'm going to take my very stable system here and I am going to um, F just the hard drive and start all over and walk you through step by step on how to install this. Um, if you want to see the hardware I have, you can look down below, you'll see the link um, to the last video which covers all the hardware that I used. Well, one last look before I um, before I tear the system apart and get rid of everything on the hard drive. Um, this is the uh, system that's up and running. Um, I did take out four gigs of memory. Uh, you'll need to do this install with at the most four gigs. If you've got more than four gigs in your system, um, you just want to do the install with four, and then in the end, when everything's set up, um, you can add the additional four gigs. And on this main page here, which you're going to take a look at on the internet. Um, it goes over step by step. This video is just going to complement that. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at step one. Okay, so step one, um, I'm just going to take my uh, my DOS boot disk here, and I'm just going to um, basically um, remove the partition off the hard drive. So we start from scratch. Um, you're going to be downloading the um, the iBoot bootloader and make this disk. I'm not going to go over. Um, how to make the disk and all the little things that uh, pretty much you should know at this point. If you don't know how to burn a CD with an image, um, there's lots of websites that cover this. And if you're really lost, um, post a message in the forums or maybe even uh, leave the question down below in the comments, and I'll try to I'll try to give you a hand. And then uh, last but not least, uh, you're going to have to purchase a uh, a Mac OS X Snow Leopard DVD. These are 30 bucks. Um, I would highly recommend you purchase this and not use a cracked version. Um, off the internet. And uh, this installation I'm about to show you um, doesn't use any USB sticks. We're actually just going to do it with just this disk and our, our bootloader. So let's get started. Okay, so uh, step one, um, after you have your computer assembled and you're ready to install um, Snow Leopard, you're going to have to go into your um, CMOS and make some changes. Um, if you take a look on that website that I've given you the link to, um, he actually has screenshots on there um, of all the settings you need to make in your BIOS. I'm not going to go over them right here. Uh, number one, we really don't have time. Um, number two, your BIOS is probably going to be different from mine. So just get the basic settings that you're going to need and try to find those. And um, if you need help, again, uh, use the forum. There's, uh, there's plenty of guys on there that can, uh, can probably help you out if you've got something that's different from uh, what you're going to see online. All right, on to the next step. All right, guys, here we go. I'm about to uh, annihilate this uh, hard drive here. Um, this just takes a second. Just so everybody can see that I'm actually uh, basically killing the drive. Okay, it's done. Um, now we're going to go ahead and put our iBoot disk in. Okay, so I've got the um, the iBoot disk in. Um, it's going to go ahead and boot the system. Uh, this is a relatively simple process. This is the disk you're going to make. You're going to download the image um, from the website, uh, burn your disk, and then just boot the uh, boot the computer um, actually from this disk. Okay, um, now I just inserted the uh, Snow Leopard uh, disk into the drive, and we're going to hit F5. And you'll notice that um, after we hit F5, the screen shows up. Uh, it actually changes uh, Mac OS X install DVD. Just go ahead and hit enter or return. And you're going to see it go through uh, quite a long list. Um, just bear with it. Um, it, will, it will come up. Okay, I paused it there for a few seconds just because it takes so long to run through all of this. Um, it's just about ready to start and when it starts up here I'm going to walk you through uh, the next step which will be partitioning and uh, formatting um, the hard drive. Okay, um, next comes this screen here. Uh, you're just going to select your language. Um, obviously I use English. It's going to say preparing installation. Um, and then this is where we set the drive up. Let me make sure that you can see this here. Um, you're going to come up here to the, uh, to the top menu and select utilities, disk utility. Okay, next, um, after our, your disk utility comes up, um, what you're going to do is select the hard drive. 
you'll see the screen change here. You're going to click on Partition. Uh, you'll click on Options and make sure that the top one is selected. It's the GUID Partition Table. Um, click OK. Pull this down one partition. Uh, Mac OS Extended Journaled. There should be the size there. And I'm just going to type in Snow Leopard. And click Apply. Click Partition. And this just takes a couple of seconds, actually. It's not too long. Uh, when this is finished, we're going to continue with the installation. Okay, so our partitioning is uh, is complete. We're going to close this window here, and it takes us back to uh, the main install screen. You're going to click Continue. Easy enough, right? Um, agree. Select the drive. This is where we're going, we're going to be installing it. Just click on it. You'll see this green arrow. And then click Customize. Um, we're going to unselect um, all of these additional packages. We can always install them again later. And then uh, click OK. And click Install. And basically, um, it, this is going to take about 20 to maybe 30 minutes, depending on your system. Um, so we'll come back in a few minutes and uh, go from there. Okay, so here we are. We just finished the uh, Snow Leopard um, install. This screen you will see uh, the install failed. Uh, you're going to see this every time you install it. It's just something that happens um, during the installation. Um, the system actually did install. So uh, now what we're going to do to go on to the next step is we're going to remove the Snow Leopard DVD and we're going to insert the, uh, the iBoot uh, bootloader and we'll go ahead and restart the system and continue on. See you in the next step. Okay, uh, we're back. I just um, put the uh, iBoot disk back in and booted up, and you'll notice that the uh, difference now is that we can select iBoot or Snow Leopard. Uh, you're going to arrow over to Snow Leopard. Sometimes you've got to hit the arrow key twice, I'm not sure why. Um, but arrow over to Snow Leopard and hit Enter, and it actually will, um, will boot the operating system. Um, and then this is where we're going to start making all the changes to uh, make it function on your machine. So uh, let this finish booting up, and I'll be right back. Okay, you'll see this uh, little video come up. Um, basically, it's just a bunch of welcomes. Okay, so after it starts up, it plays a little video um, that you basically sit through, and then you come to the welcome screen. Um, here, you're just going to select your country and uh, click continue. You might hear a little silly voice. Okay, then uh, I'm going to select uh, the US keyboard. I'm going to say no. I'm not going to enter any Apple ID. Okay. And basically, fill this screen out. Um, I'm just going to use uh, my name and I, uh, probably just like a PO box. And I'll be right back. And then the uh, the next screen you come to after you put your information in, I'm just going to select uh, what my computer will be used for. I'm just going to say home and video and film. Um, I'm going to uncheck this box because I really don't want updates. I'll check for those on my own. And then when you get to this screen, it's going to ask for a uh, for a password. Um, so just go ahead and put a password in. Okay, so we just fill out our personal information. And next I'm going to um, select, uh, on this screen you can do what you want. I'm going to select that I don't want to try the, uh, the mobile me. Select your time zone, and it should start up. Now the resolution is not going to be quite right. Um, we've got actually going to we're going to change that here in just a little bit. You'll see how that's done. Okay, so now that the uh, this screen is here, uh, what we're going to do is download that program. Uh, you'll see it in the links down below. But the program is on that website called MultiBeast. MultiBeast is um, going to be used to actually configure the computer. Um, and make it run appropriately. Be right back.